Hey guys, uh, welcome to Tabata Day because I decided that we are going to do uh, a few Tabatas, actually three, and uh, the topics of the Tabatas will be different. In the first one, we're gonna work basically only on heart rate, we will not use any weight. So the first Tabata will be an alter, we are going to alternate between jumping jacks and down ups. All right, so this is kind of I wouldn't say it is a warm-up because I want us to push it a little bit more, but definitely it's about moving fast with a little bit of a high heart rate without any weight. Then we are going to rest one minute and the second Tabata will be the CrossFit style Tabata. We're going to do two classic CrossFit movements. I have a kettlebell with me today, so I will do kettlebell sumo deadlift high pulls and kettlebell single arm push jerks. If you have a dumbbell, you can also do the sumo deadlift high pull by grabbing the dumbbell like this. But if it's in any way uncomfortable for you, then you can always do dumbbell snatches instead. So sumo deadlift high pulls or dumbbell snatches and single arm push jerks, or actually I would say single arm ground, uh, single arm shoulder to overhead. If your weight is super light, then feel free to go for strict presses or push presses as well. If you are doing the dumbbell snatches instead of the uh, sumo deadlift high pulls, then I would like that on one in one 20 second interval you use only one arm, so no alternating, and then in the other one you use the other arm. This is how we are going to do the shoulder to overhead as well. So in one 20 second interval right arm, in the other 20 second interval left arm, so the total of two intervals per arm in the Tabata. The third Tabata will be the accessory core part of the Tabata. One movement <clears throat> will be a dead bug variation where we hold the weight uh, above our chest. Of course, obviously I will demonstrate it uh, in a minute. And the other will be a weighted glute bridge where you put your weight on your hip. All the Tabatas will be alternating. So one 20 second is one movement, the other 20 second is the other movement. So all together we are going to do four sets of each movement. And when we are doing single arm variations, it's two and two within that four. All right, good. Uh, let's start with a little uh, ankle, calf and wrist prep uh, for the warm up. So, only thing I would like you to do is to go to this lunge step variation where your uh, ankle is behind your knee, so your knee is in front of your ankle, and just apply some pressure on that knee. Make sure that this heel stays on the ground and just push back and forth a few times. And then we are going to switch legs. All right, then we are going to go to this toe saddle position where your the front of your foot is on the ground, so the bottom gets a nice stretch and while we are here we're gonna do wrist circles if it feels good for you to lean a little bit back then do that depends on how this feels for you to the other direction now then downward facing dog put the weight on one leg down the other for a few times. And then we're going to go to the cobra. And back one more time. Here. 
here to the cover. All right, good. Then basically the first Tabata doesn't need too many too much warm-up, but definitely we should do a few reps always uh, before you start to work out is highly recommended even if the worm works, if the uh, movement could serve as a warm-up so all i need you to do now is six jumping jacks three down-ups for three rounds all right it's not a lot just go through the movement so six jumping jacks and three down-ups for three rounds Good. Then we're gonna leave the weighted movements for the ends to warm up. So I'm, we are turning attention to the third Tabata. And first, we are going to do regular, normal dead bugs and glute bridges for two rounds. So, just as a reminder, in a dead bug, legs are up, arms up, shoulders off the ground lower back on the ground and from here all I want you to do is we don't do the arms today because we will have a weight so only the legs keep the arms and one leg back other leg back all right I would like you to do eight total repetitions for each leg All right, and let's go straight into eight glute bridges with the second pose on top, as always. And then let's repeat this one more time. can serve as a scaling option for today especially for the dead bugs if you feel that your lower back is compromised with the weight which I will show in a minute then do it without the weight it's a hard movement especially to do it for 20 seconds maybe I will not be able to hold on to it but let's see so if you have a dumbbell grab the dumbbells heads and hold it like this that's probably a bit easier than with the kettlebell Maybe not easier but less awkward with the kettlebell i prefer to hold like this because i think this way uh it's safer in my hand so legs up and let's just do another eight Carefully, you can put it right away on the hip. Let's go for eight glute bridges. All right, 
Good. Then finally, for the second Tabata, let's go through the sumo deadlift high pull and uh, the single arm push jerk. So again, your options are kettlebell, dumbbell, holding the head like this. If this is awkward, then dumbbell snatch, all right? Whatever version you do, I would like you to start with six deadlifts. Good, shake it off. And then another six deadlifts. If you do single arm, obviously switch after three. But probably you know this by this time. If you're doing the sumo deadlift high pull with me, we are going to do the same thing but we are going to speed up, open the hip and shrug a little bit, all right? We don't pull anywhere, we just open and shrug. If you are doing dumbbell snatches, this will be the time to do uh, snatch high pulls with each arm. So six repetitions, if you're doing dumbbell snatches, three and three, looks like this. Finally, we are going to add the pull part. Make sure that you pull close elbows up so we are not pulling somewhere here in front. We are pulling close to our body. And make sure you pay attention to the order, standing up, open, and then pull, all right? Don't pull early. Let's do six repetitions. Good. Next one, we are going to do the warm up for the presses. The first round I would like to be a strict press. Now, if the weight is heavy, which is for me, I will do with two arms. If the weight is light, you can already do with a single arm variation. Six strict presses, either three and three, or if you're doing what I'm doing, then just like this. All right, good. Take a short break. And then we're going to do three and three push presses if possible. super strong left arm. All right. And then shake it off a bit. And we are going to do three and three push jerks. Always starting with my weak arm. This is the left. And the other one. All right. Now we are going to rest before we start our first Tabata.
So again, I will repeat the workout now. First Tabata will be jumping jacks and uh, down ups alternating. So 20 seconds of jumping jacks, 20 seconds of down ups for a total of four minutes. So four sets each. Rest one minute, second one, sumo deadlifts, high poles in the first one, one arm that will be the left push jerk in the second one, sumo deadlifts, high pull in the third one, right arm in the fourth one, and then repeat the whole thing. Rest one minute, dead box with the weight in the first 20 seconds, glute bridges with the weight in the tw second 20 seconds, also four sets each. I set up my clock in a way that the one minute rest is actually already programmed. So I set up my clock for three cycles of four of eight rounds of 20 second work, 10 second rest with the one minute rest in between. So feel free to set up your own clock or feel free to follow me as well. If you are into Tabata music, then just put three Tabata songs and rest one minute in between. All right. So I'm gonna set up to start. there's not much left to, than to start so I'm trying to put the clock somewhere where I can see in all rounds maybe here <clears throat> all right so again if you want to follow me follow me if not then three Tabatas with uh, one minute rest in between all right getting ready 10 seconds <clears throat> Three, two, one, and go. And rest. Three, two, one, and down up. And rest. And go. And go. And rest. And go. And 
and rest. One more from each. And go. And rest. And one more set of down ups. And go. And rest. One minute rest. And then sumo deadlift high pose and single arm push jerks. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Probably this is the Tabata where a cautious approach probably helps. It's only four sets each, but still ten seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And rest. Let's see. Left palm. Two, one, and go. And rest. Two, one, and go. And rest. Other arm. One, and go. And rest, halfway. Three, two, one, go. And rest. Left arm, two, one, go. And rest, failed rep for me, nice.
and go. And rest. Hoppa. Don't do this at home. <laughs> And last time, let's go. And time. Whew. This was just like expected. One minute of rest and then the core finisher. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, and let's go. Rest. And go. Rest. Three, two, one, and go. And rest. Three, two, one, and go. And rest. Two, one, and go. Three, two, one, then go. And rest. Last round of both movements. Three, two, one, go. Three, 
and rest. One more set of the glute bridges. Three, two, one. time. Whew. That was a good one. Good thing with the battery is that it's kind of depending on you how much you push it. It's, it's good if you want to really really push it hard. It's also good if you just want to move. I definitely feel that I worked hard in this one. I also felt that the order was good. First, bring the heart rate up a bit, then have this uncomfortable crossfit feeling. And then while we still feel the fatigue, we just need to work a little bit on our core. So I hope you guys like this and take care. And I hope to see you soon live. Bye.